Hey love box, it's Roslyn back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed. I'm doing blessed and highly favorite and definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time coming to my channel, much love to you and welcome. And to my returning subs, my growing extended beautiful family, just thank you so much for the love and support. Um, just keep pushing and you know, keep doing the best you can do. And with that being said, much love to all. Namaste, love and blessings, love and light. And many blessings are definitely coming your way. And if you have been watching my videos for a while and have not already, what are you waiting for? Like and subscribe. Even hit that notification bell so you know when your girl's about to upload the next video. If you feel like you are comfortable enough, please go ahead and drop me a line or two. I love the chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me. Even if it's about the positive feedback of the content of my video or you're just up telling me about your impact to get and how it's sending you towards a positive direction <laughs> and if you feel like the videos gave you good vibes or you, you know just want to just share with a loved one or friend please go ahead and do so while you're at it give me a thumbs up like and even share on your social media favorites as well and once again thank you so much for stopping by my channel i hope you're able to resonate with the content of my video and today i'm listening to this beautiful music which i might listen to when i go to bed tonight it's called relax, relaxing music for stress relief, soothing music for meditation, yoga, sleep, and spa. And I will post it in the link description box. Post the link in the description box below. And today my video is about um, Twin Flame 101, Empaths, Believe in Yourself Enough to Rise. Believe in yourself enough to rise. Yes, we all need to believe in ourselves enough to rise. It's because, you know, I've been getting so many um, comments. They're like, Rosalind, you know, I enjoy your videos. You know, I resonate with them, but I feel so alone. You know, we have to believe in ourselves. You know, there's sometimes it can feel like we're alone, but we are not. We are, you got to believe in yourself to know as much positivity as you're pushing out to the world, even though the evilest people are not by themselves. <laughs> they are not, you know. Even though we wish they were, that they're not. But um, it, it's just like I used to be one of those people that believed in what I was told. I was believing that I wouldn't amount to much. You know, um, the decisions I made in my life would um, hurt me in my future. I wouldn't have a future. Um, all I would just be is just a mom and that would be it you know but it's just like I had to believe in myself you know I knew that I had a kind heart and I knew just from the things that I wanted to do in life I know I can contribute towards the world for something you know and it was just like I never gave up even though there's days I've been frustrated I wanted to quit my faith was steady tested each and every day I didn't believe in myself. I, you know, I didn't see strength when I had like my twin flame, my spirit guides, there's other people tell me I had strength. I didn't see it. But now it's just like things that I do when I look at myself and I look back at my videos and I'm like, girl, you're doing the damn thing. You are really pushing it. You're not giving up. You know how many people are loving you because of the things that you're doing to impact their lives in so many different ways. You know, and it's just, it makes me cry to hear y'all saying, Rosalind, I'm crying in tears right now. And I'm like, don't do that because you're going to make me cry. Y'all know I'll, I'll snap up real quick. I can't be a power ranger all the time. I'm, you know, I'll, get, I'll start crying real quick. But it's just like we go through these things. And it's just like I make these videos to give you that validation and let you know you have that strength in you. Everybody has that hidden tiger within themselves. If they're oppressed enough, it'll get to that point where you're going to tell your brain and your, you know, tell yourself enough is enough. You know, I'm not going to feel sorry for myself. I'm not going to be a post war victim for whatever I'm going through. I'm going to survive whatever I'm going to, I'm surviving. Or I'm going to get over whatever traumatic situation that happened to me. You know, it's sad, like, when I can see certain people that, you know, and I, I was that type of person. I haven't put, put, been put in that position for it to happen again. But just like if somebody was to get a phone call or a text message from somebody that um, 
that really triggered something like their PTSD and they would really flip out about it. I remember I got like that when my father just, my adopted father just sent me a friend request and I almost snapped. Like, Bleh. you know, I'm like, why are you sending me a friend request? Why are you even bothering with me? Why are you doing this? I don't want to talk to you, you know, and it was just like, I was so angry. But now it would be just like if he was to text me now, I would hope I would still have the strength that I tell myself, you know, just let him know, hey, I forgive you, but there's no need for us to talk. There's no need for you to be even reaching out unless you're about to tell the truth. If you're not about to tell the truth, which I already know you're not, there's nothing to say, you know, and I'm just going about my business, you know, truth to be told anyway. You know, I ain't got to keep trying to convince you to tell the truth, you know, and I had to keep telling myself that I can't convince them to tell the truth. I can't convince them to do right. But I know what I'm going to do. I can only be accountable for myself. So it's just like I had to put that that strength. I had to instill myself and train myself to know you matter. You know what you say. You have a voice for many people that don't have that voice for themselves. You're gonna help them find that, or if they're on their road of having that voice, you're gonna give them validation as they're going towards that right path, or you're gonna help them on certain things that they might still have questions about. So it's just like you know, feel in yourself, love on yourself enough to know that you can rise above anything. You know, I know your situations might be hard. They might be traumatic. And there might be something that you really, truly can't go through. Trust me. I know. You know, living in the fact of uh, me never being able to connect with my father again. My father passed. You know, knowing that my father loved me. He fought for me. Tried to get back with me. You know, just be reconnected. Me, myself, looking for love and, you know, thinking, you know, how can people adopt you and not care about you and abuse you? You know, all these things came to play. So it was just like trying to forgive these people for keeping me from my family, you know, uh, not allowing me to go home and all these things. I have to be humble, humble about that and just say, you know what, that's hard as hell to get over. That's a hard pill to swallow, to know that. But I know, trust and believe, I believe in the heavens above that my truth will get out. You know, people will know about the things that happened to me, but I said I'm not going to allow myself to be, oh my God, this happened, this happened, this happened. No, I'm just saying, you know what, yes, this is the things that I went through. But you see how I'm using this as a stepping stone to be a stronger person. Yes, I went through that, but I'm not a product of nothing that I was victimized for. What I'm a product of is me overcoming my trauma to be able to help other people that are going through their trauma as well. So it's just like me to keep healing and keep going through things and keep saying, you know what, forgive even when they're not sorry. You know, it's hard to do, but forgive when they're not sorry, because as long as you're the person, you're being the better person, you know what you're putting out, you'll get back in. And you know, eventually, whatever they're putting out, they're going to eventually get back in, too. So believe in yourself and know that you can rise above anything that has been thrown at you, especially if it was meant to break you. So be strong. You will get through this. So I hope you're able to resonate with the content of my video. I hope you have a blessed, safe weekend. Y'all, it's been a long week. Me doing these live chats. If you, I remember telling y'all a lot about these live chats. Again, I, I like keep telling y'all about this because more and more people need to go ahead and join. We talk about everything. Twin flames, witches, uh, indigos, hayokas, just empaths in general. The things that we struggle with. Um, questions that we got concerns about with our spiritual awakenings. You know, it, just anything that we can place our mind to, you, you feel the love, you feel the positive energy. So if you can go ahead and, you know, chime in when you need to, and we'll have it twice a day. We'll have one in the noon time and one in late in the evening. So just keep, uh, you know, keep watching on your notifications, and I'll make sure I always put a notification out to let you know when I have a live uh, group chat. So um, my uh, post notification goes out to Joshua Flores. Much love to you. I hope you are able to um, get. Oh, yeah, I had to correct my email. I gave you the wrong email if you're watching this video. So go back and check your uh, comments and you'll see my uh, my my correct email. I, I put too many letters in there. I thought I'd give you the right one. So um, 
give me a thumbs up, like, and even share. Drop me a line or two. I love a chance to get to know you. Especially let me know when you hit the notification. You're on the notification squad so I can give you a shout out in my next video. And uh, subscribe so you know when I'm about to upload my next video. And I will see you later. Much love. Peace. Oh, know that you are blessed, highly favored, and truly loved. And knowing there is always somebody out there praying for your better days. Much love to y'all. Peace. Y'all, I'm tired. <laughs> Bye. Much love. Bye.